Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I did a video. Uh, that's mainly due to me starting, oh, I want to say new job, but I've been working there about seven months. Um, but that's consumed pretty much all my time. So I haven't really done many videos whatsoever. Um, but anyway, you're well, probably wondering what it is I've got my camera looking at. You're probably thinking, what's this black box? But it's actually a 16mm projector. Anyone who's regular to my... Well, I wouldn't say regular because I haven't done anything in so long, but anyone who's watched any of my other videos knows uh, I'm a big fan of 8mm film and 8mm projection. Um, but I've, um, with this new job, has come a new amount of money for me to spend. So I've been able to spend a little bit more on more expensive hobbies, and I've moved on to, if that's clear, a 16mm projector. I got this on eBay about two weeks ago uh, it was an auction it was up for I think it was about 50 quid as a starting bid <laughs> and I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing I just put a bid on it and then sort of regretted it as soon as I'd put the bid on so I was a bit I wouldn't say I was annoyed but I wasn't too sure about what I was doing and after doing it I was thinking hmm maybe I shouldn't have done that and I won it but luckily the guy managed to uh, carry it down to me and I'm really happy although I thought at the time it was a mistake I was really happy with the purchase and I've used it a lot for 50 quid you'll be you'll be lucky to get one in as good condition as this because I've had no problems with it whatsoever everything works uh, the tension the the drive belts I even got a spare bulb for it but um, yeah so I'm gonna pause my video open it up and show you what it's like okay so I've opened it up as you can see the front has come away I haven't moved the projector whatsoever but the front has come off and is now just to the right of the picture and as you can see inside if the light will permit you can see some speakers what this is is it's the speakers for the projector you plug it into the back and um, you run the film through and it, you can hear the sound through this and um, this here is the actual inside uh, the inside of the projector it's not too dissimilar to an 8mm projector uh, if you haven't seen one please check out my uh, my review of my 8mm projector but it, you know obviously this is on a much bigger scale and um, yeah it's really good I'm really happy with it uh, if I just extend the arm here this is if you can see this picture here that's basically instructions on how to do it but you on this arm you'll place your film you want to watch uh, and if we come around the side here and take this out that is where you put your take up reel and um, I'll just open this so you can see inside here uh, this is the bulb housing in there quite a nice design because it's easy to get to this if you need to change the bulb it's not buried away you can easily get to it uh, and you've got the if we follow it here the film will run off the reel it will go through here uh, over here you've got sprockets which will guide the film through and it will come through here if I pull this away you've got the lens housing here and you've got the film gate kind of different I don't know if anyone remembers but I used to be a projectionist which is why I've got this sort of interest in the film but um, you've got the film gate here which actually could use with a bit of a clean uh, and you can see this is where the, the frame light comes through this is the guide and it comes down here and you've got more sprockets to lead the film through here and you've got your sound drum these uh, keep the sound tension anyway that runs through here this is what, what uh, reads the sound which is what you hear and it comes back round under here comes down under this under this uh, roller here just close all this up comes off here and that's where it joins on um, joins onto the reel here uh, on the 8mm projector it's got a automatic take up which means you just put the film on you poke it through and it sorts itself out you don't have to uh, lace it through at the other end but with this one you do uh, it's got an interesting uh, little contraption on it you, this little lever here if you push that I don't know if you can see it pushes the film guides on so I mean you can manually lace this projector yourself or 
if you put the film guides on, you literally just poke the film in here, the sprockets take it up, it leads it through, it laces itself for you, and it comes out here and it will just keep running and you know, you run off as much as you want and then you lace that on, you close that, and when you're ready to go, I haven't got it plugged in, but you'll switch this on. Uh, and what happens is the tension over here will turn the reel and if I the tension will pull this roller here and if you listen carefully there's a click and basically what that does is it takes the guides off so if I do it again that's me putting the guides on when the projector takes up tension they spring off so you've got a perfectly laced projector um, on the top here you've got this I'm not 100% sure because I didn't get a manual with this so I downloaded one but it's for an earlier model than this but it, it I think it's pretty much the same but I think what happens is it, when you take this off you can project like a still frame because when I've done it it stops the projector from running and the bulb goes quite dim as to not burn through the frame I think that's what it's for again I can't be 100% I know this one here is the racking, um, it doesn't go too far out of rack but you will get a little bit of racking issues and you can adjust it there. This is a button which if you push down, excuse me, if you push the button down when it's in rewind, which means you know, when you want to rewind a film you put the take up arm there and you run it backwards. Um, this pushes the button down and there's some cogs inside it which I, I'm not going to take the back off, I have re-greased it and everything. But what it does is there's these cogs which move on, which makes uh, this reel here spin faster so you can rewind faster, uh, just for convenience. But um, yeah, that's for rewinding. And um, under here, you've got your sound control, you've got bass, treble, and just general volume. You can even plug headphones in if you can really be bothered. Uh, the interesting thing here is uh, you've got the pulley, so you can turn the projector you know, as you wish, rather than, you know, letting the uh, electrical mechanics spin it, you can actually have control over the gears inside. Uh, you've got on the front here, get it in frame, I don't know if you can see that, the lighting is terrible in my room, I do apologise, but uh, you've got a little, like a, it's a cutter, you put the film in there, if you've got like a broken end or something, you can put the film in there, and you can cut the end off so it's flat, so you don't have any problems when you're lacing the projector and on the very front here you can see this little little wheel which you turn and that if I go like that you can see it adjusts the height of the projector so if you're a little bit low or a little bit well you can't make it go down so if you're a little bit lower than what you're trying to project, uh, project onto you can adjust the angle to project higher but obviously the image will be slightly tilted on the screen if that makes any sense so you sort of have to tilt the screen to compensate for the the angle but, um, other than that that's about it really I, obviously I'm um, not too familiar with 16mm projectors so if anybody knows any bit inf interesting information or something I should know about this particular projector don't hesitate to let me know I'm always interested to find out um, uh, I'll actually I'll pause it and I'll just show you a few reels of film I've got just so you can see uh, the comparison for anybody who's new to uh, film projection. Okay, thank you for bearing with me. As you can see, I've got the reel of 16 millimeter film. Uh, this is only a 1,200 foot reel, which means you can fit 1,200 feet of film on it. Obviously, uh, it's quite a a hefty hefty size. Obviously uh, when I worked at the cinema it was 35mm which is uh, it's a lot bigger. I do have some 35mm trailers. Um, is it worth me trying to dig one out? Yes, right here. I, I can get a... this is uh, a 35mm trailer for... what film is this? Uh, for Scream 4 actually. <laughs> As you can see that is the size of the 35mm. If I place that on top it's yeah you can see how much bigger it is but anyway that's not the review so let's get rid of that um, but this is on a plastic reel I advise anybody who's going into 
16mm film. Uh, to learn from something I found out is if you're going to buy reels, I would get plastic reels. Not only because they're molded, they're perfectly in balance and they're quiet when you're listening to them, uh, when you're watching a film rather. Because um, I had a uh, aluminium take up reel, which was, it had obviously been dropped a few times, it was a little bit bent out of shape. But um, it had a flat spot on the inside here where the film sits. It had a flat spot which, when it was taking the film up, uh, it would be really, really loose and it would droop off the bottom of the reel. Um, but when I use plastic reels, I have no problem whatsoever. Obviously, plastic bends, it snaps. Whereas, and metal, obviously, you bend, you can bend it back. But I think once it's bent beyond the point of no return, it's rendered useless. I've got that uh, where I keep my films. But you can see the comparison. This is an uh, 8mm film of um, best goals of the World Cup 1978, which unfortunately England weren't in. But that's the comparison. As you can see, 8mm film is tiny in comparison to 16mm. Uh, and this is a 8mm take-up reel. You can get bigger ones than that, but I thought you might be interested to see you know, the comparisons between the three... Four, if you, uh, if, sorry, two, three, if you include the 35 mil uh, film I just showed you. But yeah, this is that's my 16 um, millimeter projector. I will try and do more reviews, <laughs> or you know, quickly, because I do enjoy doing them. It's just, you know, with work and everything, it's not always easy, uh, which I'm sure many of you can relate to. So um, I hope to make another review fairly soon, and. Um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you keep watching.